click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome to finite element methods. Let's learn about initial boundary value problems, eigen value problems. Let's see what is an initial boundary value problem. So I can take a parabolic equation as an example. So all of you can clearly see this is a parabolic equation. This is called parabolic equation. And here you can see two dimensions. One is time and another one is space in 1D that is x here. So obviously I have both the variables involved, both independent variables. One is time, another one is space. So I have to give conditions such that this problem can be solved. So how many conditions I can give here? Basically, let's discuss as usual, let's discuss what is the nature of the problem first and then we will see how many boundary conditions and how many initial conditions we need to solve this governing equation. So do you know what is the nature of this problem? How many boundary conditions and initial conditions we need here? So what is the power of t? It is 1. So that means we need one initial condition. And how many boundary conditions we need here? So what is the power of x? It is 2. So we need one initial condition, two boundary conditions to solve this problem completely. Right? So let us see one more example. Dou square u by dou t square. Fine. So this is called a wave equation or hyperbolic equation. Okay. So what is the nature of this problem? By the way, I'm saying I'm using this linear term again and again. So how do you know this equation is linear or not? An equation is said to be linear if the dependent variable and its derivatives are multiplied together. That is if u and u prime or u prime and u double prime, if they both multiply together in the same equation, then that equation is said to be a nonlinear equation. So those type of expressions are not there in this equation. That is why these are linear equations and they are PDEs. Okay, fine. So, how many initial conditions we need to solve this problem? See the order of this time. So, what is the order? It is 2. So, we need two initial conditions as well as, so what is the order of this space? It is also 2. So, we need two boundary conditions. So we need two initial conditions and two boundary conditions to solve this problem completely. I think it is clear. So finally, the initial boundary value problems are the problems which are dependent on both time and space. So we need to give both initial conditions and boundary conditions depending on the order of the equation. So what is an eigenvalue problem? So eigenvalue problems basically are a subset of boundary value problems. This, this doesn't have any extra features, but these are having some restrictions. So what to say is, suppose we are having a differential equation of the form plus k square u is equal to 0. Suppose we are having a differential equation of this form. So the solution of this equation will exist for some particular values of k, not for every value of k. So that value of k is called an eigenvalue. So Similar to boundary value problem, we are having x as our dimension. So since this is of second order, right? Dou square u by dou x square. This is a second order partial differential equation. So for this, we need two boundary conditions as usual. It depends on the order of the x. We need 
two boundary conditions. But that's all. So with that boundary conditions, for some particular values of k, we will be having solution to this equation. So these are called eigenvalue problems. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ekida. Subscribe to Ekida.